long drives with the windows down. Hello everybody. Welcome to my new home. This is like the first time I'm filming in here and this is just one back room that you will be seeing over the next six months. Maybe longer, depending on my lease continues. Um, but yes, welcome to Calgary, Alberta and my wonderful, blissful new apartment that I am so happy in. I'm going to be doing a condo tour next week, um, kind of like a move-in vlog, so stay tuned for that. But today I wanted to do a quarantine grocery haul. Now I've never done a video like this before. I don't usually do food videos, but um, I thought, you know, times call for it. I um, was in quarantine for a couple weeks, being in close contact with someone who had COVID and I just, needed to be cautious as much as I could. And um, so I started ordering my groceries online, which I had never done before. I discovered Spud, S-P-U-D. Um, it is a West Coast brand. Uh, I think they're based in BC, but they ship throughout Calgary and I'm loving them. And I've actually continued to use them since being in quarantine. Um, they're very affordable. Anything you want, you can find out organic. Um, a lot of it's local and it will tell you what's local and how far it traveled to their warehouse. So that's really good because you can say, okay, I'm gonna buy these asparagus because it was grown in a greenhouse nearby, or I'm gonna buy this lettuce because it's a local farmer. So yeah, I'm really loving that because sometimes you can't always get out to the farmer's market on the weekend. So to buy online that is local and supporting your community and the environment is amazing. So I'm gonna dive right in right now. Just gonna give you a rundown of what I got. I did two orders. Um, that I filmed. The first order was in my first place uh, that I was in for about three weeks here in Calgary So the decor will be a little bit different But then I move into a recent order because I wanted to showcase a little bit more of what I've been eating recently Anyways, I hope you enjoy today's video If you're enjoying my content, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video down below. I love making these videos and I really hope to continue doing so so also follow me on Instagram uh, let's just keep having fun. All right, talk soon. Let's dive right in. So I just had the food delivery come in from Spud. Okay, it's like kind of overkill, I think. I spent a lot of money, but I got really excited because it's the only excitement I have in my life right now is ordering food, apparently. Wow, we've got some sea salt crackers. we got some chickpea organic penne. So instead of having like regular wheat um, or like gluten, it is organic pasta made only with chickpeas and lentils. I'm someone who never gets enough protein. So I thought this would be like a nice alternative. I got more coffee pods. Um, the place that I am moving into also has a Keurig machine. So I needed to stock up on these. I also am obsessed that they're biodegradable. I think that's so great. I'd love to get a Keurig refill at some point, but I don't own a Keurig. So I think if I ever buy one, I'll do that. But for now, um, I, these are a great alternative in the meantime while I'm staying at these uh, temporary places. Also got some tomatoes. We've got some pesto to go along with my pasta. I've got some Honey Stinger Organic Chews. Naturally flavored orange blossom. So these are supposed to have like energy components to them. I wanted something to snack on this looked cool. <laughs> um, I also found this oatmeal banana chocolate. So that's cool. 100% organic Canadian oats. Oatmeal is supposed to be really good for you and I love anything with chocolate and banana. Now we can't forget about La Croix. I am obsessed with anything sparkling. So this is always much needed in my house. I also got face products because I was hoping to um, hit my $100 spend limit so I could get free shipping. And I've been wanting to get some rosehip oil recently along with some castor oil. So I've been wanting to try uh, castor oil for a little while. Um, my friend of mine actually uses it on her eyelashes and it helps them grow. Um, and then this is rosehip oil. And I was gonna try vitamin E because vitamin E is very moisturizing, but I find for my skin, I really like rosehip oil. It helps with um, anti-aging. It also helps with sunspots. Not that I have sunspots, but I definitely get red very easily. 
and I definitely spend a lot of time in the sun and it's really good for scarring as well. So I added these to my order and uh, super excited about both of them and I love, I think the size is perfect. Got me some avocados. They are definitely not ready to be eaten yet. We've got some dark chocolate. Woo. Dark chocolate, zesty orange. I love good dark chocolate, especially with orange in it. And last but not least in this box, I actually don't even know what's in here. Ooh, celery and asparagus. Nice. I, uh, I don't often buy asparagus, but I thought it would be a nice treat with like some veggie burgers or something. So that's box number one down. Now we are going into box number two. frozen bananas. So what I thought was really cool about this is that they were $3 for 10 frozen bananas. I don't even really eat bananas that aren't frozen, so that was actually perfect. And they were basically, instead of throwing them out, they wanted to freeze them and sell them. So I can use them for smoothies. And then we've got some mayonnaise. And we've got, oh. Cold brew, the best. And I've got my coffee creamer. Non-sugar, I've never tried this kind. We'll see, I usually get the silk or like the oat milk kind. It's a little bit sweeter, but this was an option. So looked good. There's no sugar. So honestly, it's probably not very sweet. It's probably not that good. <laughs> and then last but not least, my hummus. Hummus is my favorite thing ever. So this is my order. Here it is in all of its glory. All of its glory. Pew. All right, we got some loop juice. These were on sale, two for six bucks, so I thought I'd treat myself to a little fresh treat. So we got some lemons. I got some fresh and local lettuce. I've got Cucumber. I got some mushrooms. I got some beets. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet, but thought I'd try something new. Got some avocado. A Hornby Organic Chocolate Espresso Energy Bar. I don't usually buy granola bars, but I thought I'd give this one a try. The organic asparagus, some broccoli, and some local farm eggs. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you liked my quarantine grocery haul. Let me know if there's any kind of recipes that you can suggest. I'm learning more and more about cooking all the time and need some new ideas. Uh, working in film and television for so many years, I always had food delivered uh, like right to our office. So I've been very fortunate in that sense. So now I am cooking for myself a lot more and I'm loving discovering new food. So please comment below if there's anything you could suggest in terms of good recipes. Um, and yeah, thanks again for watching and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.